Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Jerboy and welcome back to Santa Girls Fam, we are back! And you might notice that yes, I'll be wearing this hat from now on for the rest of the gameplay because it's Sakura, I mean it's, it's a Santa game, it's a Christmas game, so we're gonna be wearing the perfect <laughs> attire for it. The appropriate attire. Now let's get back into the game fam. I decided to wander idly around the village, appreciating the fact that each cabin was made sensitively with care and precision. The decorations truly bring out the best of the atmosphere too. Mm-hmm, indeed. What is coming to my mind, though, is something I can't seem to shake off. I still don't feel like I'm in any position to do any managing at all. If what Sally said was true, then a district is self-functioning and organized like a well-oiled machine. Then where am I really needed? I get that the crowds can get overly busy like an, or like an ordinary mall, but how am I going to play my part? This, uncertain this uncertainty is what feels strange to me. I lift my head away from staring at the cabin floor and turn towards a large wooden circular clock hung high above the entranceway. Almost 11 o'clock, six minutes to opening time. Strange how time can fly by so quickly through boredom. <sighs> As I continue to wander, my thoughts, Jeff suddenly appears out of the blue, characteristically in a rush. Ah, yes, there you are again. I've been meaning to find you. He gives me a quick handshake. Knowing him, this is a formality made out of the habit to ensure things are in balance. From what I remember, it's his way of establishing a good foundation with people. Magic to him is simply what could spark the con that connection. I forgot to give you this. He hands me the keys. In a way, I kind of feel empowered with authority. Key bearer does sound so much better than merely manager. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. I'll need that for sure. Yes. Oh, and one last thing before we get started. I should have told you this earlier on, but I forgot. Your main duties are simply to supervise the staff. Some customer service may be required if any problems arise, but of course, I'm certain that you know this. Yeah, I got that covered. You are also you are it, yeah. You are also to ensure that breaks are timed properly and lunch at the lunchtime runs smoothly by checking in at the food court. I wouldn't make I wouldn't want anyone to be procrastinating. At least two people must be in the area at all times. One in the grotto, the other at a, uh, the other as a helper in the court. These are your two busiest places after all. Seems like he'll be going through some of the things that Sally has already told me. A reminder, however, is always good. After all, it's his job to ensure that I'm fully informed and diligently on task. During peak times, make sure to delegate another greeter at the front, and extra help may be required in the food court when necessary. Yeah, understood. It shouldn't be too much overall, but I suggest that you take this first week to be your training on the job. I'd also recommend that you spend some time with each individual on your staff. Be more informed this way of not only their, pro proclivity, their proclivities, but also on how to inform their duties when the time comes for you to take on those roles. Even during breaks, you can fill in for them too. That sounds like a good idea, yeah. Furthermore, the weekends can get frantically wild! Due to, this, due to the district's popularity, next week on will be incredibly busy since all schools will be on holiday. Oh boy, it'll be your job to keep everyone in working order. Absolutely. And lastly, I'll demonstrate for you quickly how to open and close the district. I follow him towards the main doors. See these two small holes etched into the floor? Those are the ends for the shutters to fit in. All you have to do is just pull them down like this. He reaches up top and slowly brings out an aluminum shutter, flexing all the while. Make sure it comes all the way down to the ground. Snaps the ends like so. And then you lock the sides over here. He demonstrates to me where the locks are and points out how to manually lock the sides with the key. To open, you reverse the process. With that, you should be good to go. Thanks, got it. He then raises the shutter back to its former spot. Starting from this Saturday onwards, you'll likely have people waiting at the door to come in. Now you'll need to keep these on you at all times. Jeff passes me a dainty red Christmas set. Yay! A walkie-talkie and a store badge. I don't know. Badge, yeah, sure. <laughs> there. With these items, you should be prepared for the workday. All right. All right. Well, I suppose this makes it official that I'm the manager now. It doesn't feel that way, though. Now we have a staff room out back. If you just go through the no-entry door, which is situated behind the Christmas tree, you should be able to find it. Your badge will give you access to the room, and you can take your breaks there. Alright, sounds good. With that being said, you've got to be flexible, adaptable, and exercise a good sense of judgment. He then shakes my hand again. Shika shika shika. I'm confident that you'll get acclimated, no problem. Good luck with your first day. Don't let me down! Thanks! Alrighty. Then he rushes himself out of the village to wherever he's planning to go. A man of the move! He's always embracing a business mindset. After viewing what Sally and Jeff had told me, it seems that I was only hired as nothing more than another temporary Christmas staff member. Ow, oh, F. But with special privileges and slightly more responsibility, F for the chat fam, F for Blake. <laughs> Hardly what I expected I have a significant management position. Managing lunches, breaks, and opening and closing the store doesn't even constitute the duties Anne would want from a dream job. <sighs> oh well, if I want any chance to move up the ladder, I'll have to work as hard as I can regardless. The clock suddenly strikes at 11 a.m., and the workday has just begun. 
Who should I spend the day with today? Ah, yes, the four choices, the waifus. We got the whim, the milf Sally, the tsundere waifu Rain, Ellie and Haley, who need more uh, development. Let's go with Sally. Let's go with Kaku in way first. I really want to do Rain's Rutha. Eh, you know, let, let's alternate between all of them. Let's go Sally first. You know what? I should probably check up on Sally. Out of all the staff here, she seems to be one that's the most mature and has the most experience. Indeed. If anything, I'll surely get something beneficial out of spending time with her. Oh yeah. Without a second thought, I make my way towards Santa's Grotto. Passing by a series of families in line, I wave over to Sally at the kiosk. Hi! Surprisingly, even as she's catering to a customer in conversation, she instinctively waves, waves back. There's no doubt that her social skills are far better than mine. She must be well liked by many. I've yet to be proven otherwise that not a single thing about her can make anyone feel uncomfortable. It's as if she's got this motherly quality that makes families feel at ease. Indeed, the milfness of her! Who knows, judging by her age, it's possible that she has children. At any rate, after waiting for the line to dwindle down, I walk up to her. But before I reach the counter, she calls out to me. Oh, hey there, Blake. How goes your first day? St still feeling out of di nah. Still feeling how the district goes? I reach the counter to make my reply. <laughs> it's been pretty good, Sally! <laughs> Not too much has happened. Not too much has happened, but I think that's to be expected on a casual day like this. <laughs> just, just try and flex. Eh? So you're right. Everything is taken care of. What I tell you? No, no one wants to find trouble during the holiday season. Sally wops off some of the crumbs from presumably a customer who had a stashed cookies or brownies too much on and straightens her shirt. Okay. <laughs> Then she looks at me warmly in the eyes with this captivating yet mystifying sense of familiar familiarity. Familiarity. I've got. To, I've gotten to know. Her. I've just gotten to know her, and yet it's like we have touched base before and are simply catching up as old acquaintances. And the best part of the best part about working here is getting to see children and families at their happiest, filled with the spirit of gift giving. And hopefully, I can at least provide them with the assurance that their children are in good hands and they dream away with Santa just for a little while. I'm not sure what I'm saying is making any sense, but I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, she sure thought a lot about this. More than I anticipated. What do you mean, dream about Santa? What's going on? Alright, right. The Santa, the guy. I guess what you're thinking is that a family experience, like taking a kid to see Santa, is irreplaceable? Ah, you got it. That's the perfect word. Irreplaceable. Somehow this irreplaceability is probably what's making me stick to this kiosk for all these years. I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy seeing these cute kids running around with their handheld device and blah blah. I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy seeing these cute kids running around with their handheld devices or toys. Yeah, there's something nice about it. Sally looks over at her phone to her left and taps it for the time. Oh dear, is it close to my lunchtime already? Not to bother you, Blake, but would you mind taking over for me, dear? Or, or we could find someone else. It's okay to close the grotto, too, for a short time. Anything is okay with me. Taking over? I have no choice as a manager, do I? There's gotta be one person at the kiosk at all times. That's required! And I don't know if anyone else is available at the moment. Ah, uh, sure, that should be no problem! Uh, that's splendid! Well, if you come over into the kiosk, then, dear... I left the adjustable counter as she invites me into the small and confined space. I pull the gun of my arm and brings me close to her! Uh, whether it's intentional or not, is this some playfulness that I sense in her? I don't know, but I kinda like it! Comfy near, don't you think? Makes you wanna have one of your own at home. Not gonna lie, it's not too bad! It's like having a smoothly crafted treehouse, just, you know, without the tree! <laughs> yeah, it kinda does! Standing up from her chair and propping herself against the back wall, she delightedly turns to me. Anyhow, on, on to about how what you need to do. No. Anyhow, on to about what you need to do. You can sit here if you like while I explain. Up to you, though. I guess I'll take a seat. I slip over to the chair and pop a squat as she looks on. From this perspective, the food court is perfectly in view, with groups of customers scattered around the co scattered across the common area. Common era. Area? Yeah, common area. So. It's still not yet peak time. All I have to do is take the fee from the parents and let them into the grotto area in an orderly fashion. One child per visit, as yeah, one child per visit, and as policy, due to some rough housing on previous occasions, we only take one time visit for the day. When it gets crazy, though, you can always call security with your walkie-talkie. But that's just in case. You should still be okay. The parents so far have been pretty good with their kids and aren't looking to ruin the experience for others. And aren't looking to ruin the experience for others. And that should be it. It's like working the cash register, you know? Yeah, simple and clean. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. Back. Don't forget it. Don't forget to be friendly too. It always it always helps to attract more business. Yeah, of course. After hearing all the details explained to me, I step in. I start. I try to step in with more authority. Okay, here we go. I can handle it from here then. You can go and take your lunch if you like. All right, I'll be back in a bit then. And she leaves. As she leaves, she sweeps her head against my back. It feels as if the wind is gently brushing against me. <sighs> I'm not sure what to make of that. As a manager, as a manager, there's just so much conflict of interest. 
for the duration of my shift. I welcome families in and take their payments with, the, with as much charm as possible. I know I'm not that much of a people person, but I think I'm still doing okay. Sooner or later, Sally finally comes back, refreshed from a timely lunch break. Whew. As she approaches the kiosk, she smiles at how comfortable I look in the chair. I'm back, so how did it go? Good, just basic stuff, receiving purchases and keeping and keeping track of people. That's good. For a brief moment, we dwell in silence as she puts her finger up to her chin. I'm not sure why you're still standing there, but are you going to come in to work the kiosk? Hmm... She's got something in mind, I bet. She then looks at me longingly with excitement to the point that her eyes glow with adventure! Would you like to take an extended lunch break since you haven't eaten yet? Extended lunch break? I didn't hear anything about making extensions! I ask her out of skepticism over the idea. Is it even fine to do so? To close the grout off for longer? However, she brushes my concern off like there's nothing I need to be worried about. You don't have to be so uptight. It's normal, after all, for the grout to be closed during lunch. Taking, a, taking an extended lunch won't harm anyone either, dear. Won't hurt. That's right, one time. I gotta do it smoother. Taking an extended lunch break won't harm anyone either, dear. I've, d I've done it plenty of times on my own. Sally suddenly places both of her soft, silky hands over mine. Hey! What are you doing? But I'm sure this time, this time will be far, far more worthwhile for the both of us. What's going on? This feels nice and all, but how am I supposed to react to that while at work? Yeah, I don't know what to do. Doesn't all go against what being a manager is supposed to be about? Uh, take the extended lunch. Decline, decline the request. Uh, I'm gonna take the extended lunch. You know what? I guess it shouldn't be too bad to go along with her. I may not be stupid enough to follow my instincts and try to personally get to know her more. Yes. Okay, an extended lunch, it is! We'll close the grotto until we return! Feeling satisfied over my compliance, Sally winks at me and laughs jovially! <laughs> I'm sure you won't be disappointed, my dear. We'll have a splendid time together. I have a feeling that a lunch isn't the only thing she's looking for out of this break. She already had her own! <laughs> she must really want to spend time with me one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm obviously not against the idea! I stand in my seat and exit the kiosk to the staff room then! Sally, Sally, Sally immediately shakes her head. Oh no, dear, that's far too simple. I've got somewhere much more hospitable in mind. Then, are we going to a restaurant or something? You'll see soon enough. She pulls a clothes side over the counter and grabs me by the arm. Just come with me, dear, and you'll find out. <laughs> you can't take me home! I'm scared! Without further ado, she whisked me out of the mall and onto her musty car and drive me to the city heights. I knew it! She's taking me home! We then married the car pulls up to a two-floor townhouse with black roofing in a small yard. An unassuming house, but a decent one at that. We can't go home! It's still work! This must be her home. With no other words, I follow her, take off my shoes, and walk into the living room, where a noisy heater is blasted on high. Do make yourself at home. I'll whip up something nice for you. Just for you, my dear. As she leaves for the kitchen, she abruptly turns around. Oh, and are you lactose intolerant? No, I'm not. Great. <laughs> Homing along, Sally turns and strolls into the kitchen, leaving me to my own devices. No sign of children, and no portraits hung around the house. I see no sign of a husband. Okay, I'm in the clear. I survey the room to find an array of modern. I survey the room to find an array of random paintings and flowers and vases and a leather couch. Not much else to it. Uh, is this your house, or is this your staying house? At least she has found a decent place with her line of work. Uncertain about what to do next, I enter the kitchen space and sit down at the beige flower-laced linen-covered table. <laughs> Howard I can smell the effusive aroma of something delicious being fried. I wonder what she's cooking up. <gasps> okay, almost done, Blake. She finishes grilling and turns off the stove, then she hands me a plate of her culinary creation. A grilled cheese sandwich! <laughs> I know it might not seem much, but I hope it'll be somewhat filling as a lunch for you. On the plate in front of me are two grilled cheese sandwiches, topped with a sliced ham and lettuce for flavor. I was guessing! <laughs> No, this is good. You already put in the trouble to make something for me, so thank you. Though I should probably bring a packed lunch next time for the future. <sighs> Though I should probably bring a packed lunch next time. For the future, I can't depend on my staff to make lunch like this for me anyway. Oh boy, it's my pleasure. Enjoy. Take as much time as you like. Okay, that sounds good! She pulls up a chair across the table and happily sits with me. Aren't you going to eat too? No, no. I already had my share earlier on. Chatting with you like this will be enough for me. I begin to bite into the combination of crispy toast, melted cheese, and soft ham. <laughs> for a simple dish like grilled cheese, this seemed to be cooked to perfection. Far better than what I can do on my own. <laughs> Between the bites, we chat for an intermediate period, conversing about the holidays or the weather. Nothing too personal, just really just rent, really just small talk to pass the time. Harboring a famished stomach, I continue to scarf down the sandwiches, planning to finish them down to the very last crumb. Noticing that I'm almost done with my meal, she gets up with an affectionate look in her face. You can continue eating. I'll be right back. I'll be back, okay, dear? Oh, good! Oh, I need a, I need a, 
I need a CG. I'm scared. <laughs> if I don't get a ah, CG, okay. Without another word, she briskly disappears into the hallway and up the stairs as I finally finish eating. That's odd. Why would she all of a sudden go away after making lunch for me? Maybe she's not feeling too well? Follow her and wait for her. Oh god! <laughs> Don't give me choices! Ah! <laughs> Let's follow her! I think I should, <laughs> you guys should check up to see if things are alright. Alright, I trace the same route that she took upon leaving and follow her upstairs. After examining all the various doors on the second floor, I find one that's slightly ajar. That must be where Sally is. Are you okay in there, Sally? No response. Hmm? As implied as it may seem, I should go in. For the sake of management! Right? Or maybe not. I shouldn't kid myself. I'm already feeling curious about what she may be up to. I open the door and suddenly to my surprise! Ah! Oh, I find Sally changing in her bedroom. Oh, I need an hour of time! I'll leave it to your business! For no reason that I can think of Sally Burst out laughing. <laughs> oh, Blake. How can you be so easily going about this? I guess you got me red handed. I almost had your surprise ready, too. Red handed? Surprise? Um, what do you mean? Looking at her lips lavishly, she stretched her sexy body towards me. Ah, oh, Blake, this is my lovely surprise to you. And you've no idea how long I've waited for this moment today. You're even cuter with how nervous you look. I always like a young, attractive man flustered at the bare side of my figure. Sally tempted with her right hand, begging me to, begging to invite me over! Come make me feel alive, Blake. Come. Who would ever deny her large breasts or smooth thighs? It's like every single inch of her- It's like every single inch of her is calling out to me! The damn is ever! Screw standards! I couldn't care less that my management position is on the line! Oh my god, no, no! There's no way that I'm going to give up this chance to hook up with Sally now! Let me off, Sally! I slowly approach her until I'm literally inches away from her face. So, my dear, what will it be? I, 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 I want you! Okay! Upon hearing those words, she daringly pushed me onto her bedside chair and clowned the tummy without a question around me in place. <laughs> CG! <laughs> That's happening, fam! CG! CG! This development! I can feel everything through her bra! She pushes her breast against my chest as if we were pressing my skin, rubbing me, rubbing me into oblivion. But we're kind of reversed right now. <laughs> Then she whispers into my ear, what's with the suspenseful music? Cherish every waking second from here on out, because you're going to be mine, dear. Mine for my pleasure alone on this beautiful afternoon. In the heat of the moment, her lips suddenly sink into mine in a burst of lust! In a burst of lust! She drapes her arms over my shoulders, softly dancing with my tongue, Sally pressing deep into my mouth with her own, <laughs> taking my every breath away. Oh god, she's good! I've always wanted to help Phil to make it with an older woman with more experience, a milf if you will! And already it feels like heaven! It feels even harder than when we're making- <laughs> It feels even harder than we're making out in private on what should be a normal work day! I always- I would always trade slaving away at the mall for an intimate experience like this every damn time! My hands crawl over- all over- yeah. My hands crawl over her hips as my heart beats faster and faster. We kiss without reservation. But I just simply love how firm yet silky her lips feel. Feeling flustered, Sally breaks away from me, looking to ask for me. Yes, more Blake, show me more of you. Sally, you've completely read my mind. There's no question about what I have to do. Okay! Strapped with Sally, Stella taught me, honestly, strip my name. That's it, you fam! You like what you see? Heck yes! Sally, you're just perfect the way you are! She giggles. <laughs> Is that a line you say to every girl you meet? No, only to you! <laughs> oh god. Equally, she looks down at my jank and pulls it up with her hanky. Well, I'd have to say the same for you, my dear. Perfectly big and long. <laughs> but let's not keep ourselves waiting. You know what I dearly want, dear. <laughs> I was gonna take the rest off. Keep going! Ah, take the rest! Aren't you a little overdressed? Oh, is that what you think? I just like to see the rest of your gorgeous body. Is that such a crime? <laughs> when you put it that way. Okay! Sally moves to slip her dress over her head and I quietly help her. Wow. Beautiful as always! Oh my, you're going to make me blush, my dear. Okay, and so! She gently, she moved gently to allow my thing to lay Without trying to do that, I just wasn't around her now. This feeling, yes! Upon entry, their faces immediately flit with ecstasy, ecstasy, and her body convulsed with that irresistible feeling of pleasure. You've no idea how much I've missed this, Blake. Give it to me! Oh my god! She suddenly begins to do that finally! I'm all let's get a different spot! In this position, I can barely move, but I still want to make this experience somewhat impressionable for her. So I lean in to kiss her some more as she bends and rhythm of my Her scent, her curves! The way she moves in my mouth, I'm absolutely spellbound, spellbound by her sexual advances! 
Being connected with her makes me tap into a long lost fantasy of mine. But now it's a fantasy no longer because Sally, my delicious co worker, is right here on me. A wholesome sexual adventure! She then pulls back her mouth from me. You're just so good. Give it to me more. Out of request, I wrap my hands around her body and excite myself as much as I can do it any now. Yes, yes, that's it. I look smoothly find the way around me as a tie tied in a constant upsurge of pleasure. I never let above have a good measure. Yeah, Rick, that's good. Can keep going. Look at you doing it. She sounds false. She sways a bunch of real consistent first from wonderful eyes. Have not stopped looking into mine. After doing it, it's intense, intensely JP. Can I can feel it coming down? Bring it home, Blake. Bring it home. Don't you let go now. Faster and faster, our hearts beat as one. But dim dim doki doki. Sally clenches on me tighter with no hope of letting go. Sally! Oh, Sally! The little Sally! I can't have a call out a sexy name. I'm about to leave. Wait for me, dear. You hear? Just hold it a bit longer until I'm with you. She comes out of me hot and out, hungry, looking to climax as quickly as possible. Oh, how much I love such an open and beautiful feeling. I can't hold back now. Here it is. He has given it all to me. Blake, Blake. A load of love is just uh, hanging out of my arms, bent backward in all uh, uh, relief. The rush for me to continue goes on with nothing twitching in my still can to do. There's no comparison to how good of a sexual partner Sally is, as weird as it is to say, having sex with her. I love it, I love it, I love it, I with her. Felt like a uh, masterpiece. You've no idea how incredibly good that felt. Oh, Blake, this is just wonderful. She rushes forward and pecks me on the lips. If only I didn't need to go back. If only there were no obligations. I just want to stay right here, right here with Sally and have this unbreakable moment last forever. <laughs> After our session, Sally pushes me out of- out of- <laughs> Oh god, that happened! After our session, Sally pushes me out into the kitchen. I wasn't expecting it to happen so fast! That was certainly fun. Now let me get back together. I can't deny- I can't deny that I enjoyed it too. If anything, I'd like to do that some more. Oh boy. As I wait for her, she finally appears around the corner in fresh new clothes. So it's about time that we head back, yes? I think so. We wouldn't want to keep the customers waiting any longer for their photos! Mm-hmm. My thoughts exactly. Let's be on our way, then. <laughs> With no more words to spare, we head out the door and drive back to the mall. Oh, God! On our journey back, Sally suddenly motions to me, gracefully smiles, and brings up something on her mind. I really enjoyed my lunch with you today. I'm grateful for your company. I did as well. I mean, after what we did, after what we did, it was amazing! Oh, that's nothing. There'll be more where that came from. What I want to ask you, though, is would you like to go out with me on Saturday? Go out? Saturday? Why this all of a sudden? Maybe. I'll have to think about it. That's okay, dear. Just let me know when you decide. Okay. With that, we continue to drive farther through the city in silence. <sighs> Finally, we make it back to the, we make to the mall. With no time to lose, we rush inside and navigate our way toward the Christmas district. Oh god, that happened! <sighs> okay. We're not even just fashionable late. We're extremely late. I don't know if we have a perfect. I don't know. I don't know if we have a perfect excuse for this one. We go through the entrance way to get over to the food court, but instead of greeting us as we as she went to the customers, Rain instantly notices us and confronts us with a scowl. No, no. What? Are you serious? I'm working my ass off, and yet I find you playing hooky. Even the manager is tagged along. Sadly, however, Sally, however, appears unfazed by her complaints, smirking carelessly. Hush, Rain, we're back, and that's all that matters. I look over to Rain to find her glaring at me with contempt, and she approaches me with while Sally returns to her post. Look, I don't know what's going on between you two, but whatever it is, I don't care! It's disgusting! It's disgusting how you'd hook up with her or whatever! No, it's not what you think, Rain! You're the only one for me, baby! Defending yourself, too? Please, only the lowliest of trash would ever try to live in denial! Like you don't even have the guts to admit the truth! How sad! Damn, she got me there! Well, I don't care, either. Rain has nothing to do with my relationship with Sally anyway. I'm still the manager. With my job maintained, it's a win-win in my book. I don't need your sats. I'm going back to work. Yeah, you go do that. Okay. I remove myself from the tense situation and leave Rain to her greetings. I have no time to deal with her. I'll just go back to the kiosk where Sally is. For the rest of the workday, I spend as much time as I can with Sally, freely chatting away in the restless mirth of people gathering for photo photos. The next day, I wake up and get out of bed. Prepare for the morning, get all suited up, and drive to the mall. Alrighty. My first day as the manager seemed to have gone quite well. Nothing went wrong in terms of customer service. The girls knew what they were doing, and I didn't have much to do overall. Okay. Well, let's see how today will fare. Who should I join today? Uh, oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So we're just gonna. 
Oh, okay, I think I kind of understand it. I'm gonna go through everybody's things, and then Saturday, I'll pick a date, and then, okay, that's that's cool. Okay. <clears throat> <Excuse me. clears throat> Let us save. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I wasn't expecting to get a level of whoever seen so fast, fam. Really, I was not expecting that to happen. I thought, you know, you can chill, you know, hang out, be cool, fam. But no, the video movies got started. Anyway, we went with the move, sadly, fam. The Kakarin way. Kakarin would be proud. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please like below. And if there's any of the gameplay you play, you want to talk, please comment down below as well. If you haven't already, join the Discord, fam. It's in the description down below. The link to it, that is. If you guys enjoyed this and like some more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be epically appreciative of you guys. <clears throat> and as always, my name is Sherryboy, and my goal is to make you guys smile. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. See ya. What's gonna happen next time? We're gonna go with the wife of Rain next. We're gonna show the Sundera Rain how we do. We're gonna tame her wellness. She's gonna like Audrey. Aubrey? What's her name? Audrey or Aubrey from Honey Bob. You know, the red hair girl. And yes, Rain, I'm gonna choose. I'm interested to see how she goes, how she fares indeed. And we got the with the wife of Sally from the MILF. Sally, we got with her. Let's find out what, 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 let's find out how our time with Rain goes next time on Santa Girls. I'm so sorry if I picked the mic. Bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah.